How did the princess take control of our message board, if only for a few seconds? It didn't make any sense. Our message board wasn't a video game. Our message board pulled all its information from the internet. The princess was already inhabiting a game at the same time. All the rules we thought we knew, all the things we thought kept us safe had failed us. Could she have done this at any time? Could she do it again? Were there any real limits to what she was capable of? We looked through all the data we'd collected. We tried to find some common thread we'd been missing. There must have been some way we could have known. There had to be more answers than what we were seeing. And there were. We finally realized the truth. It was so obvious. The princess had been in our message board the whole time. She was on every page. She was on every forum list. She'd been staring at us, watching us for years and we never even saw it. She was the banner at the top of the forum. She was every screenshot we'd posted, every video we'd uploaded and every piece of fan art we'd drawn. Every image of her is her. Every image of her, when observed, gives her power. She's not a ghost. She's not a computer virus. She's an idea. Living fiction. She lives off our observation and thoughts of her. When we all watched that stream, banded together and gave her all of our attention all at once, we made her more powerful than she'd ever been before. We made her strong enough to manifest through the images we'd posted on our message board and speak directly to us. We took down all the images. From what we speculate, it's enough to simply never look at them again, but we deleted them all just to be certain. However, it may already be too late for us. I've been losing contact with other members of the society. I can't tell if something's happened to them or if they've simply gone into hiding, but at this point only a fool wouldn't consider the worst case scenario. I didn't know that's what it was called until much later. I was living in a house in Laguna Beach that had been there since the 1920s. In its history, it had been a speakeasy, a brothel and a house for smuggling illegal immigrants. One day, my new wife and I were having an argument. I can't even recall what it was about. She walked down the block to get a cup of coffee and cool off, and I was alone in the house. The way the place was built was incredibly haphazard. There was a bedroom and living room on one side, then a bathroom with two entrances. On the other side of the bathroom was a hallway that had windows in one side and two bedrooms on the other. From my bedroom, I could look across the hall into the bathroom, then through the bathroom and down the other hall. I was standing at my dresser, and I just noticed movement out the corner of my eye, and looked down there. There it was. And honest to God, this gives me goosebumps just typing it, 17 years later, a black figure. It was maybe 3 feet tall, and it was only vaguely humanoid. It looked like black scribbles, like someone had scribbled a human shape, but the scribbles moved, like electricity arching, that's the best way to describe it.